Hello, Book Foxes. Welcome back to it. The Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today we're diving into a truly remarkable story with The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks by Rebecca Skloot, publication year 2010 under the genres nonfiction, biography, science, medical ethics. The first immortal human cells grown in culture, they are still alive today, though she has been dead for more than 60 years. If you could pile all hella cells ever grown onto a scale, they'd weigh more than 50 million metric tons, as much as a hundred Empire State buildings. Henrietta Lacks was a 31-year-old African-American woman living in poverty in Baltimore in the early 1950s. Born in 1920 in Roanoke, Virginia, she was the great-great-granddaughter of slaves. Henrietta married her first cousin, David Lacks, and together they moved to Baltimore for better job opportunities. She was a devoted mother to five children, balancing her duties with grace despite the challenges she faced. In January 1951, Henrietta felt a knot in her womb and went to Johns Hopkins Hospital, one of the few hospitals that treated black patients at the time. She was diagnosed with cervical cancer and during her treatment, doctors took a sample of her cancerous cells without her knowledge or consent. These cells, known as HeLa cells by her name, became the first human cells to survive and proliferate indefinitely outside the human body. This unprecedented discovery meant that scientists could conduct experiments that were previously impossible, and HeLa cells quickly became a cornerstone of medical research. HeLa cells revolutionized medical research. They were instrumental in developing the polio vaccine, understanding cancer, studying viruses, and even advancing IVF treatments, the atom bomb's effects, cloning studies, and gene mapping and have been bought and sold by the billions. These cells contributed to numerous scientific breakthroughs and have been used in thousands of medical studies. Despite their scientific significance, Henrietta's family remained unaware of the use and impact of her cells for decades. Her children grew up without knowing their mother's contribution to science. It wasn't until the 1970s that they learned about the HeLa cells and their extensive use in research. All right, let's transition to the ethical issues now. Rebecca Skloot's book explores profound ethical issues surrounding medical research. Henrietta's cells were taken without her consent, a practice that raises significant questions about patient rights and medical ethics. The book highlights the racial disparities and exploitation faced by African Americans in medical research. Skloot's investigative work not only delves into the scientific breakthroughs but also brings to light the personal struggles of the Lacks family. Deborah Lacks, Henrietta's daughter, was particularly driven to understand her mother's legacy and ensure her contributions were properly recognized. Now let's delve deeper into each of these narratives. Henrietta's life was marked by hardship and resilience. Born Loretta Pleasant, she later became known as Henrietta after a clerical error. Her early life was spent working on tobacco farms with her family. After marrying David, they moved to Baltimore, where she balanced her roles as a mother and a worker. Henrietta's battle with cancer began when she felt a painful knot in her womb. Despite her fear, she sought treatment at Johns Hopkins, where she was diagnosed with an aggressive form of cervical cancer. Her treatment included radium therapy, a standard practice at the time, but it caused significant suffering and ultimately failed to save her. Henrietta died on October 4, 1951, but her cells lived on, continuing to divide and multiply, contributing to countless scientific discoveries. The Hella cells were remarkable because they could grow indefinitely in a lab, something scientists had never seen before. Dr. George Gay, the scientist who first cultured Hella cells, sent them to researchers around the world. These cells helped develop the polio vaccine, were used in cancer research, and contributed to our understanding of genetics. Hella cells were also instrumental in space research, sent on missions to understand the effects of zero gravity on human cells. Their robustness and adaptability made them invaluable to scientific progress. The Lacks family's discovery of the HeLa cells' significance came as a shock. They had not been informed about the use of Henrietta's cells, nor had they received any compensation. Deborah Lacks in particular struggled with the ethical implications and sought to learn more about her mother's contribution to science. Rebecca Skloot's narrative highlights the emotional toll this revelation had on the family and the ongoing quest for justice and recognition. Deborah's journey was filled with a mix of pride and pain as she uncovered the truth about her mother's enduring legacy. The immortal life of Henrietta Lacks raises important ethical questions about medical consent, racial injustice, and the exploitation of vulnerable populations. 
Henrietta's story is a powerful reminder of the need for ethical standards in medical research and the importance of informed consent. The book also serves as a call to action for recognizing and compensating the contributions of individuals whose biological materials are used in research. It advocates for a more equitable and just healthcare system that respects the rights and dignity of all patients. Henrietta Lacks's legacy continues to impact science and medicine today. Her cells are still used in research, contributing to new discoveries and treatments. The story of HeLa cells underscores the interconnectedness of human lives and scientific progress. Understanding her story helps us appreciate the human dimension of scientific advancements and the ethical considerations that must guide future research. If you're intrigued by this story and want to explore the full depth of Henrietta Lacks's legacy, get a copy of this eye-opening read that combines scientific marvel with a deeply human story. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.